Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. We're showing films tonight from the early part of Alfred Hitchcock's career. And next we have his 20th directorial effort, although the title of the movie is number 17. And it's a film he made in England in 1932. It's about a group of jewel thieves hiding out in an abandoned house after stealing a valuable necklace. However, a detective is hot on their trail, determined to recover the goods. And it's a very interesting film, rather strange little movie actually, running only 64 minutes, but filled with the quirky editing and plot that hovers between a thriller and a wildly exaggerated comedy. And if you're a Hitchcock fan, it's something you'll definitely want to see. Hitchcock did not develop this film from the start. He was actually assigned to do it by his bosses at British International Pictures, where he was under contract. And he wasn't keen to do it at all, but being an employee, he didn't really have a choice. He was actually preparing to direct a film called London Wall, but his bosses suddenly assigned that film to another director and switched Hitch to work on ours. It's based on a novel and a play, although Hitchcock did make major alterations to the story, adding his own flair to the material. And this was also, by the way, the last film he directed for British International. He soon left that company to make films at the Gaumont British Studios, films such as The 39 Steps and the original version of The Man Who Knew Too Much and Sabotage, all of which gave Hitchcock the reputation that eventually made Hollywood take notice. Here from 1932, number 17. What a strange film. I mean, did you notice how the deaf mute suddenly was able to speak with no explanation? This was admittedly the calm before the storm in Alfred Hitchcock's career. It's a film he reluctantly directed, but did you notice how it foreshadowed what was to come? I mean, the humor, the attention to special effects, and the suspense factor, all were elements soon to be hallmarks of the films of Alfred Hitchcock. Up next, another early film from Hitch. This one's a TCM premiere. And it's based on a play by the esteemed Sean O'Casey, one that teaches us all a lesson, don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Or more specifically, don't spend your money until the check clears. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, Alfred Hitchcock is in the spotlight.